Hey, what's up guys? It's Steely Don here. You can call me Don with short, but today I'll be doing my first ever review on you no know, actual products. And I'll be doing a review on iPhone 10 cases from uh, Spigen. Now at the time, there were no uh, Spigen videos on YouTube about the cases. And so I worked my ass off and I got these cases now. Now sadly, there are some videos now of people doing their whole entire speaking lineup. I'm pretty sure they're sponsored, but I'm not sponsored. So I'm going to still go ahead and do this review on the cases. Now my agenda for the videos could be different. It's going to be mostly about the thickness or the depth of the cases. So either you're going for the, the most thinnest case or the most thickest case. So we have from thinnest to thickest on the left to the right. So the first one on the left is the thin fit. Then the one in the middle will be the Neo Hybrid. The one on to the right middle is gonna be the new one they just released, which is the, uh, let me see, it's called the Revention. And the one on the right, which is the thickest, which is the actual wallet case. Now we're gonna start with the one on the right, which I'm gonna be showing you. I will have a different camera view because I'm using my phone to record, but it is very thick. This is a very minimalistic case. It's for the person who wants the protection on the phone, but really wants the original feel of their phone as well. And then we have the Neo Hybrid, very minimalistic, very good feel. And then we have this new one, which is the all around 360 cover case. Has a very good feel as well. And then we have the wallet case for those who want to carry their card and ID. And uh, yeah, we're gonna start off by switching it to my other camera. It might be less quality, but I want to give my iPhone in these cases and give you my opinion on how they fit, what's the pros and cons to these cases. So uh, yeah, let's get started. All right, let's start it off with the thin fit. Now, this case has a uh, plasticky material. And uh, it's fairly simple to install. I like to install it from the side. So just put it in there and slowly squish it in there and you're, you're pretty much done on installing it. And as for the texture material, it is very grippy, even though it does feel like plastic, it does have a nice grip. Now, as you can see, the downsides are pretty visible and that is that the bottom and the top are exposed and also your buttons are exposed. Now the depth for this case is uh, 0.3 inches or an inch and uh, that's basically the same uh, specifications for the iPhone so you will have the same exact feel of your phone with this case with uh, decent protection. Now, if you would like some more protection, the Spigen did release a uh, thin fit 360 protection case. And what that does is it fixes the issues with this case, meaning you have protection on the top and the bottom and on your buttons. And also it has protection on the top sensor. And I will have a picture of that in the video, probably to the right or left, but that case does come at a cost of uh, one point inch in depth, so it will be a little bit thicker, and also the cost of it, of course. Now, this case comes in uh, five color variations. As for the Thin Fit 360, it only comes in three, so you know that's something you want to look out for. Now, when it comes to taking this case off, it is quite tricky since it is a uh, hard plastic, or at least it feels like it. It's kind of hard to take it off. I like to take it off from the sides. And also you want to be very careful because there is people that reported that their phones get scratched on the side glossy part if you don't do it correctly. So I like to start from the bottom right side and pop it off. So we're going to just pop it off right here. And slowly do the top as well. And I know you didn't see that, but it sort of came out from the top. You have to put a lot of force into it. Uh, it kind of might be a little bit difficult at the start because you might feel like you might break the case. We might scratch your phone, but you just got to add that certain pressure on there. And that's pretty much for the thin fit. Now, the next one we have is the Neo Hybrid. It has a very gel feel like to it, but it's really not. And to install this, it's pretty easy. I can even do it with one hand. You just put it from the top or start from the top. 
and it's just simply push it down on the corners and you have it pretty much perfectly installed I have the gunmetal version or color and uh, yeah this case provides protection to your buttons has a nice uh, bump over the camera although one con to this is that it's not perfectly wrapped around the camera so it's a little bit more open and that will cause dust buildup which you will have to clean up at some point by taking off the case uh, the bottom of the case does have its ports perfectly cut out so see that charging port right there is a little bit more open which is great there's some cases that like to just wrap around that and if you try to use a different uh charger you might have an issue with that but the buttons are extremely tactile uh i'm pretty sure you can't hear that but it just the buttons have an amazing feel to it and the depth for this case is point four uh, inches so uh, it's very thin it's gonna be a little bit thicker than you know the thin fit but it's very thin when you have it in your hand i was thinking it's gonna be feel a little bit more fatter or bulky but nope it it really didn't but anyways to uninstall this let me go and put this on this case it's very simple since it has a gel like feel it's gonna be very simple to uninstall so just I always like to start from the bottom and like so it comes out and that's the neo hybrid now this case also comes in five color variations so that's something to look out for when it comes to these cases so these two cases do have five colors you can pick from now the next one is the revention which is a new case that came out from a Spigen for the iphone 10 it didn't come out when i first uh, bought these other two cases but uh, yeah, this case also comes in five colors, and I bought the champagne gold, if I'm correct. But this is a 360 coverage case. Now, the MSR for this case is uh, pretty expensive at $54.99, which is why I kind of struggled to buy this at first. It's pretty expensive, but it does come with two uh, screen protectors. And uh, yeah. To install this, it's pretty tricky since it's a three-piece case. Let me go ahead and put this to the side. You basically have to take apart the upper front. So this, this part is going to go on your phone. Then you have to take the back off as well. And to install it, you simply put this cover on top of your phone first right there then you simply put this inside the gel like case in the front so make sure you have it installed in there and that's when you finish putting the back piece back together in the back there are things up and correct and there you go you have it installed now I already had a screen protector on it so I can't show you that part so I technically have two screen protectors on the side for no use until the other one this one breaks but uh, yeah the back is very grippy with this diamond uh, sort of texture it's, it's plasticky but it does have a nice grip to it the color is amazing and uh, it does have this sensor cover up here which is a uh, I'd say it's a 50-50, so the reason I say that is because if you have a full cover uh, screen protector, you will be kind of screwed there. You might have to either, this might break if you try to install it, or you just won't be able to install it because it's, I mean, this is mostly perfectly cut out if you have a protector which doesn't cover that section. But uh, yeah, the only downfall to this case, I would say, is the buttons. They don't feel very tactile, obviously, because they're not tactile buttons. But it's just the feel doesn't feel like sometimes you got to look if you actually pushed it and it actually did something. So if you lock it, you know, you got to look sometimes if you actually push it and you're not going around in your pocket pushing random things or apps in your pocket. Um, the coverage is very nice. It has this little outside grips so if it falls in the corner it will absorb the energy the bottom is very secured as well as that little nice cutout for the usb charging ports 
Um, one thing I was trying to see is the audio sound a bit different, like a little bit muffled. I'm not sure if that protected where it's going to affect your audio, but I'll do that testing another day and I'll just post in the comments to see if I actually found something out. But uh, yeah, now to remove this case, it's very simple as well. So you just start from the bottom as always, take it out like so, take the top off and you don't have to remove the actual back since you're not installing it. So then you just place this inside and store your case wherever you like and that's pretty much it. This case, but the case is nice, has a great feel to it. Now, this case does come at a depth of 1.5 inches, but the feel is absolutely amazing. It does not even feel like it's that thick, like the actual crystal wallet case. But uh, that's pretty much the review for the Spigen Revention case. Now the final one I have for you guys is the Crystal Wallet case. This one is the first case that I bought and I liked it but I just had to order some few more cases because it felt too bulky. And I don't know why but there's an actual other version of this which is called the Armor Slim CS. It's exactly the same but it comes in at a whopping 0.6 inches and that's very very thick and I already think this is thick and this has the same depth as this one for whatever reason. But I just feel like this one is more bulky in my opinion. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and install this. And uh, there's something that I forgot to tell you guys is that the camera lens over here does have a little bit of a, a bump so it won't scratch up. But it is also perfectly wrapped so there will be no dust buildup around your camera. Unlike the Neo Hybrid which is a lot bigger. But anyways, back to the Crystal Wallet. It's fairly easy to install. I like to install it from the side. Actually, if I'm correct, I'm gonna install this one from the top case. Work our way to the bottom, and voila. Now, the first thing about this case, you can see it's very thick, bulky. But with this case, we have the option to have two cards, at least that's what it says on the website. I have managed to put three cards in here. So the first one was a uh, Bank of America card and the second one was my ID. Now you can have another card in there, but it can't be a bank card because the bank cards actually have the digits a little bit sticking out. So it won't work. It has to be a flat out card. So maybe like a rewards card or, you know, such numbers don't stick out but you can fit up two to three max in here that's for sure as you see the camera has a very very big uh you know bump so you know that's not going to get scratched and it's also perfectly wrapped around so there will be no dust build up at least around the sides of the camera because it's perfectly wrapped the bottom is also very protected as well has your nice USB cutout. The buttons are absolutely tactile, and that's what I loved about this case. Very, you know, very, very good. And the grip on the material is absolutely amazing. Um, I must say that this is, out of all four other cases that I have here, or the three cases that I have here, this one is the most grippiest, and I like that about it. Now, when it comes to the front screen, it does have a, a little bit of a lip, but it doesn't feel like it. I feel like my finger doesn't get caught up in the bottom as much as the Neo Hybrid and the Revention. And I don't know why, but I like that. Now, that doesn't essentially mean that it doesn't have protection. It does, as you can see. So if you put it on a hard table surface and you're moving it around, it won't get scratched up. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this review, guys. Uh, this is my first review ever, so obviously, you know, leave me some feedback on how I did. I mean, I'm recording off a crappy camera and on my phone. It's not the usual reviews that I do. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much for these iPhone cases. I might buy another one that just came out, which is a, it's a Tough Armor 360, uh, 360 case. 
Another thing I don't like about that one is it has a cutout in the back which shows the Apple logo. I'm not quite sure if that is protected, but I have never had a good experience with those type of cases that have the cutout in the back circle that you know shows the Apple logo because it usually ends up getting scratched up with keys and or uh, pins. So that's why I like these cases that cover up the whole entire back and don't show the Apple logo to avoid any type of scratches. Now for this one, I do recommend, you know, checking out what type of a uh, glass protector you have on. Like I said, if you have a full one, you might have some issues there. And as for glass protectors, if you go for cases that do not have a sensor protector, please go with a full screen protector. Uh, because with my phone, I accidentally got a scratch with a pen, not not keys with the pen and it's not noticeable but you could I mean if you try hard enough you can see that scratch there so I fully recommend a full covered glass screen protector which Spigen also has and uh, yeah I hope you like this review on these four product cases and I'll see you guys in my next video bye